All right, my name is Todd from Go2 Cards, and we're going to be talking about five types of cards that I think you should be buying right now. You heard that correctly, five types of cards, not just individual cards, but types of cards that I think you should be buying right now. But before I do that, we do have a giveaway on this channel today. I have a special giveaway. We are right under... 2,000 subscribers. We need like 30 subscribers, uh, something like that. Super excited. Um, just thank you all for all the love and support that you all have shown us. We appreciate it so much. So I do have a giveaway on this channel. Special giveaway uh, as we inch towards that 2,000. What we're going to be giving away is we are going to be giving away Quarter Century Decode Talker. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, a quarter century decode talker from the tins, that's like 30 cents. Nobody wants that. That's junk. This is a special decode talker. I want you to look close at this decode talker. I'm going to bring it up so you can see. What? There is no name on this decode talker no name you got a, a misprint decode talker i was going through my tins um my quarter centuries from the tins and i found several of these now they do have the imprint so you can lightly see the imprint on there but there's but there's no ink that has filled that thing in i i hope you trust me and know that i'm not one of those people that's gonna like you know create um misprint cards this we actually pulled um if you want another one this one is actually sealed in the in the stuff still and no name as well so um unfortunately i opened this one so that's kind of a bummer but we're going to be giving one of these away all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel Hit, uh, hit the like button and leave a comment. That's all you got to do. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of the community. We'll reveal the giveaway sometime probably Monday or Wednesday of next week. So stay tuned for that. Decode Talker, quarter century, no name. It's pretty cool. Um, so... Alright, jumping into the cards that I think you should be buying right now. I'm going to bring you over. I made a little slideshow, so I'm going to bring that up, and then um, then we'll start talking about it. So, let me get that up. Alright, so, alright, here's the first cards. Uh, Ragnarika Deck Core. Now, I know that people are saying, you know, this deck sucks. This is horrible. It's no good. The cards are overpriced. Here's what I'm saying about this. I'm saying don't buy them right now. Let these suckers fall out. Let them drop and drop and drop and drop until they hit pretty much where you think the floor is going to be. Where that, you know, the, where the chart, where it kind of levels out and you don't see it going down anymore. That's when I think you should buy these because this this um, this archetype is getting new support in the next set that's coming out and the support's pretty cool. It gives them a potential draw three. Um, it might actually be something, but you know as well as I do that when new support comes for these decks that didn't quite do what we were hoping that they would do, as that set approaches, these cards start spiking up. If I were you, I would be looking at the Ragnarika uh, deck core. Not, again, not right now. They're still a little bit too high. I've got three deck cores so far. Um, but they're, they're still a little bit too high. Let them fall down. That hype, when that next set approaches, will drive these cards up. I'm telling you, it will. This is something you should look at. Besides the fact... I think it might actually be good. I, 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 you know, call me crazy. I know insects, plants, and reptiles are not like the trending archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh. But 
I think I, I think it might actually be good. So um, take that for what it's worth. All right. I got to click on my thing here because this jacks me up every time. Whoops. All right. So the next thing that I think that you should be looking at is Zeus. Look, I'm talking about this ultimate rare. The ultimate rare is under $30. We're talking about less than $30 for an ultimate rare Zeus. It's a decent buy right now. I had this card. I absolutely loved it. It's a beautiful card. The only reason that I sold it is because I bought the quarter century. And when I bought the quarter century, I sold the ultimate rare. Turns out the guy I bought the quarter century from was a scammer. I had to get my money back from TCG player. Now I don't have an ultimate and I don't have a quarter century rare Zeus. I've been playing the original out of um, Phantom Rage. But this is a very nice card for less than $30. If I were you, I'd be looking at this. It's not in danger of getting a reprint in Rarity Collection 2. It already has a quarter century. It's just gotten multiple reprints. I would not be surprised if Zeus does not get reprinted for quite a while. Um, so it's way too cheap for an ultimate rare Zeus. It really is... $27, $28, I would be looking at this card. Um, the next cards that I think you should be looking at is Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Um, they are going to get some love in the new uh, Light Duelist set. Um, these are super cool cards. And people like these. These are going to start going up. And one of the reasons I'm bringing these up is that the high rarity of these cards is still pretty cheap. I have the ultimate sitting right there. I can't reach it, but I can see it. It's right up there. Um, the ultimate rare uh, Tachyon. It's super cool. Um, it's somewhere around $30. The, the other one, um, the C107 is somewhere, you know, Last time I looked, I thought it was like 15 or like, it's not a lot of money. And the Galaxy Eyes um, that came in Rarity Collection 1 is like five, six bucks, something like that. The high rarity of these cards is pretty cheap. Um, I think people are going to want to play this. I, th I kind of look at it like um, the Red Dragon Archfiend deck. You know, people were super excited about it. Those cards went up. People wanted to play the deck. I still see that deck running around now. So um, I would be looking at these cards if you don't have them in high rarity. I don't have C107 in high rarity. So that is something that I am probably going to pick up in the next day or two. Um, but that's what I would be looking at. Zeus, Ragnarika. The Galaxy Eyes, um, Tachyon, um, Dragon. What's next? All right. Shark cards. Look, Abyss, uh, Rage of the Abyss. We don't know exactly what it is, but it does. There's a lot of thought that this is going to be water support. Sharks are actually a pretty good deck. I've played Sharks for quite a while. It's a pretty good deck. I've, I've had success with Shark. So if I've had success with Shark, it's a pretty good deck. Um, so I would be recommending things like Abyss Shark. Bahamut Shark, totally awesome. Totally awesome, still pretty cheap right now. And I've seen this card go from like a $5 card to a $20 card at least three different times since we've been doing this. Um, number four is um, kind of going up right now, um, but it's still cheaper than it should be. Dark Knight Lancer is still a very cheap card. I would be targeting that. Uh, Bahamut Shark, you can get that super rare out of the OTS pack, which is very clean. Um, I would be targeting that, not the secret. The secret's too much money at this point. Um, the only card that has really spiked up that I wouldn't really be buying right now is Abyss Shark. Um, but the rest of them, I think they're all great buys right now. Um, Crystal Shark, 
Um, th th there's tons of them um, that you could be picking up shark support right now. Um, be before that set um, comes out, be before we find out for sure that it's water. Once we find out for sure that it's water, people are going to be all over these. And the, the risk is minimal. Most of these cards are very, very cheap. You can get people to throw them in in trades. You can pick them up to get over the shipping on TCG Player. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can start acquiring shark cards. I would be looking at doing that because, shark, again, shark is good. Um, I'm not saying it's tier one, but it's a good deck. And it would not take much to put this into a tier one deck, really. Um, so um, that's what I got on that. Um, the last thing here, look, everybody knows this, um, but this card right here is coming out. Uh, the Trickstar, Aqua, Angel. Uh, so what I wanted to talk about is I wanted to talk about, look, Trickstar, Marincess, Medolce, all you creeps out there that like all these cards with the girls on there. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Seriously. Um, I played Trap Trick for a while. People made fun of me all the time. Um, look, these decks are going to start going up if they haven't already. There are certain cards that are moving in these decks. Medolce, Marincess, Trickstar. I would be looking at getting these cards if you are interested in these decks. Honestly, um, I look at it very similar to Trap Trick. When Trap Trick got a structure deck, there was a lot of interest in that. And all of those cards spiked up. I mean, all of them. Like super rares, the rares, uh, even the ugly cards spiked up in price. I know because I was trying to buy them because I played Trap Trick for a while. Um, I was able to get two, uh, two um, secrets, uh, uh, Sarah's, but I wasn't able to get the third. Um, that sort of thing. If you're interested in these decks, honestly, I would be looking at making sure that you're getting them sooner rather than later. These are the things that I would be looking at. I'm looking down the line. I'm looking at the next three sets after Rarity Collection. A lot of people are just focused on Rarity Collection. Rarity Collection is awesome and it's coming out soon. Most of the videos that we're going to be doing over the next two weeks are going to be Rarity Collection 2 videos. But I do want to also look at what's on the other side of Rarity Collection 2. And what's on the other side are a lot of what I just revealed to you. Um, a, a lot of cards that are going to be helping these sorts of decks. Trickstar, Marincess, Medolce, Sharks, um, all, uh, Ragnarica, uh, all that stuff is going to be getting support. I would be looking at them. Don't forget about the giveaway. Leave a comment. Get subscribed to this channel. My name is Tal from Kotu Cards, and I am out of here.